Hey guys, so I decided to remake my Trunks Black figure, and I think it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Before, I really didn't like the figure that much, but now it is definitely one of the, my favorite figures I own, so I hope you enjoy the review. Next, I'm going to show you a montage of the process I had on creating this figure. Okay, I... I'm going to remake the trunks black because uh, it looks a little weird now. So first I'm going to extend the boots and the top. I already sculpted that in and it will dry in a while. I also want the hair to go more up so I uh, cut it off. And what I'm trying to go for is this look right here. I cut off most of the hair pieces and... Uh, we sculpted them to go upwards as you can see here and I'll paint them later It's a lot better than it was before. I always hated how the rosé look looked on him with the Super Saiyan head so and I think what the final script will look like Okay, I finished the jacket. As you can see, I did some extra sculpt work on the arm. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, but once it's painted, it will. I did the logo. Not that well, but I really like how the jacket turned out. As you can see, it's like a half jacket, and in the back, it's like ripped, right? Of the trunks jacket, and it's ripped from... Uh, you can see the armor below it and a genius idea just popped into my head on this leg right here I'm gonna put a sword sheath for I don't know having like an attachment as you can see here with all the additional add-ons it the, the torso just looks so much better now and I still don't know what to add for the legs maybe I'll just take off all the paint or, or something <laughs> Uh, the mask is almost, is finished, basically, and I think it looks really good, but the eyes are a, mid a little misaligned because the eye down here is lower than the eye up there, but I really don't know, but I'll figure it out, it's gonna be all fine. See here, I finally finished painting the jacket, and... I think it looks amazing. Um, the arm articulation is a little bit hindered, but overall it's okay. And you can see I painted the mechanical hand. So now it's not just like a wrist watch thing, it's like a whole glove thing. I think it looks a lot like the Captain Wolf Okay, so after I painted this, I decided to paint and whatever. The, it's not finished, but mostly done the uh, rosé hairpiece with the face and I think it looks uh, definitely a lot better than it did before and, um, and next I will uh, actually attach a magnet inside the leg area so he will be able to remove and unremove the sword sheath. It's gonna be a very complex <laughs> process. I'm about to do surgery on an action figure. Doesn't look so pretty, but I <laughs> I dug a little hole for the magnet to go into. I just spent an hour carving a huge hole in the man's leg so I can fit this so I can fit this tiny magnet inside of it. I attached the magnet in and put more clay into the thighs, so now it looks semi-normal. You can see a little bit of the magnet poking out, but that won't be a problem once I paint over it. After a year of work, I finally finished drawing and uh, designing the face with the broken mask you can see that under it, it there used to be like a berserk face where his eyes turned black and red uh, <laughs> didn't really like that and I had to move the eye up so it can match the side of the mask 
I had to delicately draw on or paint on the eyes, same thing for the eyebrows. Then I added extra lines to the screaming face, which exaggerated the screaming. And for the normal face, I've always hated how it looked, but now it doesn't look so bad because I had more lines and made it look more evil. Next, I am going to repaint this head because it is very ugly in my opinion. And here are these pipes that I'm going to sand down and attach to the back of this blade to be a gun. So it's like a blade gun thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Here is what the final product looks like. As you can see, it, uh, I think it turned out very well after it's been painted and sculpted. Uh, you can see the lag magnet. It, you can still see that there's a magnet in it, but it looks more natural now after I painted over it. And the old hair piece in the back, there, it was humongous and this piece of cloth would always hinder the articulation of the head. So I cut the whole thing off and replaced it with this small, better looking piece. And yeah, I also painted white over the uh, rose hair to exaggerate lighting. And the legs are poorly done, but I don't know, it doesn't seem that bad and just adds like a look of customization to the figure. Now let's take a look at the accessories. Here's the screaming face of the figure, which has lines drawn on it to add the expression of anger. As you can see here, there's a thing of my baba right there. And although the eyebrows look a little bushy and the eyes don't look very great, Far away doesn't look so bad. Here is the glancing off to the side face, which I think I did not as bad as the other one. Here is a closer look of the masked face. So repainted the head for the base form because I didn't like how it looked before. I sculpted a bit more hair pieces right here and here. And then uh, I took purple and blue and shaded out the entire head. And I think it turned out really well. I definitely like how it looks better than it was before. I actually sanded down the old mask and now it's a lot smoother than it was before. I also repainted it and I think it did, it did a lot better job than I did last time. Here is the base form head with the mask on. Here's the base form head on the body. I also repainted the, the left hands of the figure to match the gauntlet and also made them chrome as, as well as the fist hand. So here they are. And I left the... Uh, right side hands unpainted chrome although there are bits of shading and dirt on there which is done on purpose by the way taking a closer look at the sword you can see here that i individually um sanded down the pipes and put a bit of wire and super glued them all onto the back of the sword to make like a gun thing and here's the plastic sword with a bit of blue in there to make like lighting or something. And I uh, sculpted the a bit of extra stuff on the bottom of the sheath here to act as a counterweight. Articulation on the figure is exactly the same as it was before, except on this side, it's a little bit hindered, but it can still do all the things that that a regular arm can do just uh watch out for paint chipping so overall i think i did a pretty good job on expressing my ideas and putting them onto this figure and it is currently my favorite custom because uh this is the one i spent most time on 
So please tell me your opinions on my custom figure in the comments below, and thank you for watching.